Now, while AMD's event at Computex may have ended on a high note showing off Threadripper along with a pair of Radeon RX Vega GPUs showing how they performed with Prey at 4K on maximum settings, the high note, in my opinion, was the mobile Ryzen parts, the uh, Ryzen and laptops. Those were very interesting. They showed off a, a convertible laptop with the touchscreen showing that uh, Ryzen Mobile showing it with more power, more efficiency, using the new Vega graphics on the GPU core, as well as, uh, they said, four cores and eight threads worth of Ryzen uh, Zen-based CPU cores, which is huge compared to the last generation. So we're getting, you know, confirmed high and uh, mobile laptop parts. So this is going to be really cool to see performance of those and how well and how versatile they're used. So that's really cool. But like the crown jewel of the mobility side of things is actually when Asus took the stage with their ROG line showing off their new ROG laptop featuring Ryzen and Radeon Polaris based graphics cards. Now this is isn't a mobile SKU. This is actually a full desktop Ryzen 7 1700 put in a laptop. So kind of like whenever they were seeing the 6600 or 6700K in a laptop, that's the same concept here, but the Ryzen 7 1700. As far as the graphics card, it's a full bore RX 580 4 gigabytes. Not the 8 gigabyte, it is the 4 gigabyte, but it's still really neat to see these full-fledged desktop parts from AMD being put into an ROG laptop. This is something that you would not have seen a year ago. It's really cool to see this. Um, it's going to add some variation to the market rather than the same old, same old setups that you always see out there. Now, full lineup of how they're going to set up these laptops hasn't really been shown yet, so you could be able to get it with a Ryzen CPU and even an NVIDIA GPU. So, that's speculation on my end. It, we'll have to wait for things to come out. But really cool to see uh, Ryzen Mobile, which is the APU line. That's the, um, the the Zen cores plus Vega GPU cores on die together. And then there's the use of the desktop parts in a laptop. So really cool stuff to see there. And, you know, if you guys are interested in more, stay tuned here. We'll bring you more as we get it. And this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. And we'll catch you all in the next video.